How well do you know sets? And what can you use them for in a database like Redis? Sets are incredibly powerful. In this video, I'm going to tell you what Redis sets are, and then I'll show you how to use Redis sets to build a Who's Online widget for a multiplayer game. Let's dive in. So first, what is a set exactly? In Redis, a set is an unordered collection of strings that contains no duplicates. So if you add the same value to an empty set 20 times, or even a million times, the set will contain just one member. This makes sets a natural fit for tasks like deduplication. Another important set property, efficient membership checks. Questions like, did I see this IP address in the last hour? Is this user online? Has this URL been blacklisted? Can all be answered in O of one time. Last but not least, Redis sets support standard mathematical set operations like intersection, difference, and union. We're going to see a very interesting use of set intersection later on, so keep watching. Now let's tie these concepts together with an example. In the online role-playing game Mages and Minotaurs, players go on quests, kill monsters, and collect treasure. Now it's always more fun to play Mages and Minotaurs with your friends. So let's see how we can use sets to let our users see which of their friends are online. Now the Mages and Minotaurs game client pings the game server every minute. When the server receives a request, it adds the player's ID to a set. Here's how we add a player's ID to the players colon online set. We call the command sAdd, followed by the set name. So players colon online followed by the player's ID, which in this case is 42. And the command returns one. That's the number of players added to this set. Now imagine our players online set is full of IDs. How do we go about showing how many players are online? That we can use S card to get the cardinality or number of members in the set. Here, we're calling S card with the set name players colon online. And you can see the command returns a billion? Guys, we have a billion players online. Yes, yes! Another thing our players online set gives us is the ability to efficiently find out whether any given user is online. If we're viewing a friend's profile, the server will call S is member to determine whether to light up the I'm online button. Let's see if player 42 is online. We'll call S is member followed by the name of the set, which again is players colon online. We also give S is member the player's ID. You can see that player 42 is online because red S returns one. What about player 32? Nope, Redis returns zero, which means player 32 is not in the set and consequently not online. Of course, in a game like Mages and Minotaurs, we want to play with our friends. In Redis, we'd store each of our friends' IDs in a set. Here's the content of my friend's set. You see my good friend Artexius is there, he's player 42, and so is my BFF Sheila, player 101. So take a moment to think about this. If all my friends' IDs are now stored in a set, and we also have a set containing everyone who's online, what's the best way to find out which of my friends are online? The answer is set intersection. Now, if you aren't familiar with this term, the intersection of two sets is the subset of members in both sets. And the Redis command for this is sinter. So to get my friends who are online, the server passes sinter, the set name, player colon 31 colon friends and the set name players colon online. You can see that five of my friends are online. We've kept this example simple to focus on the most important set commands, but you should now have a general idea of how you'd build a who's online widget for mages and minotaurs. But consider what happens if a player logs off the game. With our current approach, that player's ID will still be in the set of online players. I'll show you a few techniques for solving this problem in part two of this video. So, to your review, we learned that a set is an unordered collection of strings that contains no duplicates. And we reviewed the most important set commands. We learned about sAdd, which adds a member to a set. sCard, which tells us how many members are in a set. sIsMember, which checks if a member is in a set and sinter, which gives us the intersection of one or more sets. 
If you want to learn more about sets and other Redis data types, check out our free course, RU101, Introduction to Redis Data Structures at Redis University. Thanks for watching and see you next time.